Where was my way back? Aha! Basement that leads directly into the sewers. That seems... All right, all right. Less than stellar. Whoa, why did you leave? You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> okay, we need these guys dead now. You must gather your party before venturing forth. All of your party is already down there, you morons! Thank you. Will they allow me to rest out here? Because I probably need to. Hurry up! What would you have me do? Well, let's heal and then we can make our move. There we are. All right, all Can't right. risk resting anywhere else, so. What's over in this direction? You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party. Oh, hello. Hi, friend. Here's the underseller. Of course. What better place than down here? Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? Look at Kristen, honey. It's the heroes of the Sword Coast. They're the real deal. Well, 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 dear. What have we here? Blade fodder? I don't know, Slythe. They're so big and threatening. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking of someone else. Ooh, she's got a ton of steel and a heart of gold, my Christian does. And she's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible, so guys don't give her a hassle. Not that they would with a tough guy like me looking after her, of course. Slythe, baby, you tell them, honey. Oh, baby, you know me. You know you're Slythe. Hey, you. Don't you... Don't you go watching us go all mushy, all right? It ain't none of your business. What's that, you whispering sweetheart? Hey, now my girl Kristen tells me that you's all have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. Sure is a shame about Entar's Shil Silver Shield, isn't it? One down and two to go. Poor Dukes. Wouldn't it have been better if they had all died together? Bay, Christian, don't give it all, all away like that. Now, it's on. What do they call that again? The Silver Bladder? Ah, enough of this cat and mouse stuff anyhow. I ain't cut out for it. We'll kill him now and do the Dukes after lunch like Saravok said us to. Hmm, I love you for your mind, Slythe. Hey, fellas. Now what have we here? Ow! How did you do that much damage? All right, kitty gloves needs to come off now. Imowen, start shooting. Down here, start shooting. Nice, and Mullen's actually hitting pretty hard. Take that, sucker. Ah, crap, I made it to hear her cancel her spell. Oh, two people leveled up. That's nice. Nope! Jerks. Quite a bit of magic here. 
take a look. How was your inventory already? Oh, right. All that. That would do it. Looks like the animal summoning thing is gone as well. Here, take this, Simone. Oh, I haven't identified it. That's why. Now, stop complaining. Now, let's level you up. All right. Fight a level seven now. Cool. Fight a level eight. Nice. Nope. How is Minx not level of eight yet? Kind of surprised at that. Your wish? Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. Ooh, that looks like a nice dagger. And but you can't identify because I limited how much you actually can identify recently. Vamp touch. Lay marrow. Normal missile. Non detection. Monster summoning. All this stuff that you can't use, but would it shall probably get. Oh, you can learn that. It's crap. That's why I got. We have quick saves. Yay! And it's link plus one just in case we don't already have it. What would you have now let's do? heal people. Ooh. A short sword plus one, I presume? Uh, she hasn't seen one before, so I guess she can't immediately identify it. Can't immediately identify this, though. There we go. Have some more bullets, just in case you don't have enough. Yes! Yes, finally! This is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Duke. Slife, the time to strike is now. When the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with my doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance to the palace. You are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I am finished my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelgangers will proceed without you and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on your little bitch of a wife. An invitation to the party is included with this note. Alright. I have what I need to nail Saravok to the wall. And I've got the hammer. Stop! Hammer time! Sorry, I had to say it at least once. <laughs> What would you have me do? All okay. Right, all right. Let's get over there. Actually, wait. I don't know. Don't mind me, guard. I'm just minding my own business. You must gather your party before venturing. I'm surprised forth. he didn't question how we got in. Who are we waiting on? You must gather your party before venturing Dana here, forth. of course. You must gather you your party that? before venturing forth. Alright, we're gonna try resting. And then we will head out. Hey friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. I'm surprised there weren't any questions. Let's get moving. All right. Let's hope I don't get arrested on the way. You point unless the squeaky wheel gets the kick. Serve the flaming fist. 
Here are the invitations. Could you let us in now? We're in a hurry. Don't be so impatient. Let's take a look at these invitations. Hmm. Yes, they do look authentic. All right, then. You can enter. What would you have me do? All right, here goes nothing. All right. Please, nobody... Please don't let anyone suspect. Please don't let anyone suspect. I serve the flaming fist. They let us in. All right, now where's Saravok? Our father's work. Embrace it as I have. He's here. I do not fear death. Do you? Flaming Fist mercenary, get out of the way. Your company is a welcome part of, of this group. Thank you, Flaming Fist mercenary. Now that all of our guests have arrived, we can begin with the ceremony that you have all been awaiting. As all of you know, this is a special occasion for the city of Baldur's Gate. It is time for a new person to join the ranks of the Grand Dukes. I do not wish to downplay the tragedy that we suffered with the loss of Antar Silver Shield, but this is not the time for us to show grief. The votes have been tallied from those submitted by the landowner. The result was nearly unanimous. What of Duke Elton? Has his condition improved at all? If he dies, who will replace him? What about the rumors of Arm mobilizing for war? Why aren't we preparing for war? With our iron shortage, how are we to defend ourselves? Who will give us the iron we need? What of the Zentarum? I've heard that they may be somehow involved. I believe that Elton was poisoned by members of the Shadow Thieves. They're obviously trying to kill our leaders. All of your questions will be answered in due time. You need not worry. Why does that sound, I sound like Grand Moff Tarkin? Antar was killed by Shadow Thieves, agents of Arm. If it isn't obvious to the rest of you, it's obvious to me. Arm wants a war. The evidence we have about Antar's murder does resemble the work of the Shadow Thieves. Resembles? That's ridiculous! The signature left behind on the body was the mark of the Shadow Thieves! Are you blind and stupid, woman? If I may continue. The signature left behind was very blatant and could have been put there to mislead all of us. Who would want to mislead us? Perhaps I could interject something before this meeting degenerates into meaningless bickering. We are here to welcome our new Grand Duke, so perhaps we should get on with it. Introducing the new Grand Duke, Saravak Anchev. Wait, that's not his real last name. I am honored to be here before such a respected assemblage of noblemen. I accept my new position with full awareness to my new responsibilities, and I will have many of them. I would first like to address many of the questions that have been asked earlier. The rumors about Arm's mobilization for war are entirely true, as is their involvement of the Zentarum cohorts. But do not worry, we are not bereft of a defense. Although the recent Zentish weakened us, it has not crippled us. Although the recent Zentish attempt at depriving us of the most valuable war resource, iron, has weakened us, it has not crippled us. When my father was most recently murdered, I inherited his control over the western branch of the Iron Throne. They have a great deal of stockpiled iron, enough for all of our needs. I will give this to the city to do with as you will. Unfortunately, our greatest military commander lies on his deathbed, a grievous blow to the city. To ensure that the flaming fist is well led, I will be assuming control of the mercenary regiment, with permission from its current steward, Angelo. Wait one. That is not in your power to decide. Shut up! Let Servox speak! Instead of waiting for the war to come to us, we will take it to them. With the Flaming Fist, we should be able to easily take the town of Nashville, and then quickly fortify the mountain pass through the Cloud Peaks. What? Who dares to interrupt? I am the law! Whatever they need. Dinah here! Now! Who but 
kicking for goodness. <laughs> yes, way. I can nature try. Servants of oh, my. You have needed to see none of the search. All right, good. Man, that slowed down my frame rate a bit. Now we cast haste. You point butt kicking for goodness. What do you want? They're called. Your wish? Let's spot you! Oh, 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 you for butt kicking for goodness. What would you have me? I was lucky that such brave men as yourselves intervened on our behalf. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Take a hmm. We have Saravok's diary. Take a look through it. Saravok is the one who tried to kill you. Had Entar killed and nearly killed Elton. I'll take a look, but if you're wrong, the punishment for such false accusations is severe. Angelo! Those men are the ones wanted on multiple counts of murder. Kill them! These men are not to be touched until they have finished reading these documents. You don't need to read the document, but since I know you're too stupid to take my advice, I'll just take your head. Your wish? Hurry up! They're called. Alright, you asked for it! No mercy! <laughs> Alright, it looks like down here's magic is gonna have diminishing returns. Let's try another shot, but the You and I aren't finished yet, Aethelbert. I'll kill you, just as I killed Gorion. The only way you'll ever live in peace is if you kill me first. I'll do my best. What would you do? Hurry up! All right, all right! I think it is in your best interest to hunt Saravok and kill him before he does the same to you. I think you're right. The only problem is finding the bastard. Through the power of my god, I should be able to divine his location. Just wait a moment, and I'll tell you where he has gone. He has been teleported to the Thieves' Guild. I will dimension fold you to where he has gone. From there, you can follow him and kill him. Good luck. No, I don't want to go immediately! So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> what is this? It seems like everyone's crashing in on the Thieves' Guild these days. First that huge armored guy, and now you. You better tell me what you're here about, and right quick, or you're in a lot of trouble. We're tracking down Saravok, the huge armored guy. Where did he go? He went down the stairs right over there. He was sure in a hurry. If you're going after the guy, it'd probably be good of you to get a little more prepared than you look. Down there is the Thieves' Warren, and they're really dangerous. Go talk to Black Lily over in the storeroom by the stairs. She'll give you some good prices on equipment. I even hear that she sells some magic stuff. Alright! We're approaching the final battle by the looks of it. It's come to this. Now we see if I truly am prepared. Considering how much beat up I got just from that fight. Then again, it didn't seem like any of my magic was working. I just need to be allowed to rest. That way I can hopefully make do with what I've got. I've got good equipment, that's not a problem for me. Yeah, well. Ah, crap! I hate myself sometimes. One misclick is all it takes sometimes. You've attacked? What would. So you I insist. said daggers drawn with him, and he drops the swag and runs. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I have no idea what that was about. I didn't read as much as I should have. Alright, who do I need to talk to for equipment? Black Lily, huh? Let's go find him. Or her. This will be the darkest day you never see before I don't have what you need. Alright, is there anything worth getting from you? Doesn't look like there's too much, but can at least sell what I have thus far. Alright, you don't accept magic scrolls. That's fine. I shall make deuce on other way. Alright, do I have enough? If this isn't enough arrows, I don't know what is. But I need to make sure I've rested. Hi, friend. Well, at least I remember the password. Now let's go rest. Alright. Where's the nearest inn? I think there's one over here. Where was it? Yes. If you insist. Let's get over there, rest, and then we get to go fighting people. Hello there. Huh? Wait, I must speak with you. It's of utmost importance. Will you wait and listen? What is it you want? Good then. I am Death Ear. I represent those who harp. I have been seeking you out for many weeks now. Just recently I discovered that you had left the city some time ago. Things have changed since you were gone. I can tell you everything to you need to know. Of course we do. Okay, is there anything that I don't know? Okay, what's sickness? So far, Elton's healers have been unable to discover what has been ailing him. It must be magical in nature. I find the whole affair rather strange. From what I know, Elton's healer, Rashad, was a priest of no mean faith and power. It is unusual that he has been unable to effect a cure for the Grand Duke. Three old kegs. Okay, good to know. Let's get over there. I must talk to you in private. These are troubled times. I apologize for not being more open, but these... If I could be permitted to speak for a moment, I believe I have something you would want to hear. Perhaps we could help each other. I would know to whom I am speaking. I do not take candy from strangers, as it were. You may call me Tomoko. I do not presume to be your friend, or even someone you should trust. But fate demands that I place myself at your disposal. I have details worth listening to. And again, I must ask if you are interested in a trade of sorts. Do you wish to hear what I have to tell you? Say what you must, and I will listen. I shall explain myself in further detail when I have time. And then, till then, I have but one thing to say. The one who claims to heal Duke Elton's sickness is also the one who breeds it. Likely there have been signs that suggested this to you, but none have said it so plain. No doubt you have the wherewithal to follow through on it. Your very nature gives you above-average competence. Garion's tutelage can only enhan have enhanced this. Your simple shadowing has given you that name, and... Uh, wait. And I am not impressed. I have cut those familiar ties. But has your family shed its ties to you? I think not. I think you feel the pull, and I think you have gone where it has led. Ah, again you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know yourself. There are three things there are s that are... Strength incarnate, love of life, fear of death, and there is family. A family that loves death would have a strong pull indeed. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know. Who hates me? What have I done to deserve such hatred? What have you done? You exist, and chaos will be sown. This is the way it was intended, though I hope to change it. I must go, and you must go to Duke Elton. Protect him from his own healer. I shall wait. I will wait near the Flaming Fist headquarters. 
We shall speak again, and I shall have something to ask of you. I better go follow this up before I finish the main plot line. I know Saravaka's waiting, and I'll need to deal with him soon, but I have a feeling I need to see to this. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. Such insolence. His popularity may be soaring, but I'll not cast a vote for a lout such as he. The nerve of the man. What is your trouble, milady? If it is any of your concern, I am simply furious at that Saravok man. I did not raise a fortune in this city by letting such as he stroll off with my assets. I have had dealings with the Iron Throne Mercantile Group for some time now, and though I did not approve of some of their... Other ventures, they were at least honorable business people in their contracts with me. Now that Saravok leaves them, um, he has all but had declared my previous deals null and void. You will not get, you will get no sympathy from me if you lost gold dealing with a group like the Iron Throne. If I were not already incensed at Saravok, I would stop to tear a strip off of you too. As it is, I must speak with the Grand Dukes about Saravok's conduct. Imagine, he secures himself as leader of the Iron Throne and then all but destroys its mercantile credibility by practically sacking it. He may be bolstering the city with its assets, but it is still unprofessional. Something strange is going on at that Iron Throne building, I tell you. I know their previous leadership was killed, but those members remaining will still never let such treatment come to pass. Not willingly, anyway. Okay, guys, I get it. There is trouble. Shut up! Is there someone else who wants to talk to me? I must talk to you in private. I see you have sought me out. Troubled times. As I thought you would. I have things that must be said, but things that are important to us both. I have but one condition in my discourse, and you must agree before I speak. As promise I seek. A promise I seek, and I will accept no less. You have my word that I shall honor my promise as best as I can. I thank you. Here is my request, though it may seem odd. I charge you to defeat Saravak. The man behind all your woes. You must destroy his plans and stop his scheme in its tracks. You must strip him of the belief that he can succeed in this path he follows. You must do this for me, and you must also leave him his life. I will I will help him to live his life as a man, not as the god he thinks he can be. I do not know how, see how such a thing is possible. He has sought to destroy me, and I have only responded in kind. Saravok seeks to destroy everyone, not just you. You are of particular interest because of your shared origins with him. You are a possible rival, one of the few that are worthy of his personal attention. Above all else, you are family. I see this is startling news, though likely you would suspect it as much. Does this disturb you? It should not. Monsters are often closer to us than we like to think. You are siblings, and the paths open to him are yours as well, though he has been racing down his from his earliest days. You had Garayan to guard you, guide you, did you not? Saravok had no one. He draws his strength from his hatred, from the thought of rising above those he knows to be inferior. His divine blood hungers for conquest, and that is why he must be defeated, but not killed. He serves another, but does not know it. Divine blood? He serves another? Of what do you speak? The child becomes the father, or so it desperately wishes. The blood pulls, calls, and demands. The wise Alando did say unto the ages that the lord of murder would perish, and his doom would spawn his mortal progeny. Chaos would be sown in their passage, but to what purpose? You have felt the hunger and heard the offerings of power. Saravok thinks they are true, and so he seeks a senseless war, and a slaughter of a scale so grand as to defy description. He thinks it will launch him to... to what? Possibly he is right, but I cannot lose him to this. I shall strive to stop him, and will actually wait. Why do you oppose him when you so clearly care for his life? Saravok is... I share Saravok's company, and would do so until I die, given the choice. That is all you need to know. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. I do not believe he will survive his plan. It is all based on conjecture at best. He feels that he has been chosen, and that he will become more than he is. I do not share this belief. Gods are not known for bequeathing their powers especially if they had foreseen their own their debts. Whatever he is, I would keep him here, grounded firmly amongst those of us that are all flesh. 
I shall strive to stop him and will do what I can to see that he lives. I thank you. Saravok can be redeemed, as could you should you one day pursue the same path. For now, I shall speak of secrets to aid you. Duke Elton may be saved, but Duke Antar Silvershield has been killed outright. The murderers have acted with anonymity, but I know who and where they are. You must go to the Undercellars. Return if you have already been. Okay, I've already killed those two. They are no more than animals in human guise, even by the standards of the company they keep. Kill them, and you shall know much of their plan. If you do not know where the Undercellars are located, then go to the sewers. You will find an entrance there. I thank you for your help. I will seek them out. There is another. Atop the Iron Throne's base is a woman whose, whose influence is a poison in Saravok's soul. If she were removed, I know he would listen to reason. To my pleading, Ethandria is her name. And she holds much power in this matter. She seeks Saravok's favor as well. Though she is, she is content with these self-destructs, so long as she profits in the deed. I, I must go. He cannot know I have helped you. That, oh, oh, oh. Tomoka was the one that that lady mentioned. Okay. That makes things even more interesting. Mm -hmm.